Winter winners with Gibbo and Curly. We're going to take a look at the two big group ones on the card at Doombin on Saturday, the Kingsford Smith Cup and the Queensland Oaks. Welcome along, Gibbo. How are you, mate? Yes, good, mate. We'll have a look and we'll obviously update people. This is the very first look after the fields and that come out. So we will update leading into the weekend with some best bets. We'll uh, run the eye over them early. Let's start with the Kingsford Smith Cup and, um, and care to think. Do we have to? Uh, 11 of 11. Now, Space out, he'll be 10 of 10. Well, it makes it near impossible. Now, the J-Max special, it's just, it's just quite incredible that he can keep drawing where he does. I think that's his last seven starts, I think he's only had one single-figure gate. So, it doesn't help in group ones, that's for sure, mate. But um, what are you liking in it? Uh, early look, um, La Romaine. I think it's drawn well. I think only a bad ride can probably see him uh, getting beat probably at this stage. It's just an early look. I thought he was very tough last start, three deep on speed and, and was still there right, you know, right at the end, I think. Um, I don't think you can begrudge him a Group 1 win either, to be fair. Uh, the horse has been thereabouts in, in very strong Group 1s. And um, I think this is would be arguably the easiest Group 1 that he's come up against, I think. There's a couple of horses on the up, like Care to Think. Uh, who aren't proven at this grade as yet, who have drawn, you know, haven't drawn to the advantage that they probably need to step up. Uh, impending was good. Late had a better run against him last start. English steps up, draws well. You know, we're going to see a very similar race, I think, um, to what we saw two weeks ago, but on with Lara Main at this early stage. Yeah, I think exactly what you said. Right after the, after the 10,000, we said very little difference between four or five horses and gates will dictate probably the next start. I think that's exactly the case. Uh, Lara Main's the one who draws better. He was he was super tough on speed. He, geez, I thought he was good in the in the ten thousand. So I just think it's advantage him from the gate. Um, look, English draws good again. Take nothing away from her. I think impending's going a lot better than I thought he would be going. Um, I mean, he's a very good horse, but I thought he was exceptional as well last time. So look, I think it's uh, I think it's Lara Main and impending at this stage. Uh, obviously, Champagne Cuddles and Care to Think they're sort of on the way up, but. They've got the, the awkward gates, and I think there's a lot against them when you look at the market. So, yeah, you know, I'm similar similar boat as you uh, there. I think Lara Main gets his chance up on speed. Tactics will be interesting. I think, um, again, a bit, little bit like the 10,000, the best ride is going to be worth lengths and lengths. So, um, hopefully you can get your tactics right with uh, J-Mac on Care to Think. Yeah, I think it'll be a little handball to J-Mac and do your level best, champion. Look across to the Oaks. Um, you know, all the spruiking young star off its win last start said they won't beat it in the Oaks. Uh, draws gate four here with Kerry McAvoy obviously sticking. Um, I don't see any reason to jump off her now. Yeah, with you, I don't like coming up with the obvious, but of the fresh, uh, the fresh horses coming here, the ones that weren't in that, I can't see anything turning the tables uh, from the race. Youngster one. I don't think that the new horses coming up are possible possible of doing it either so look I'm with her it is a bit the obvious so I'll go over the race again and you know closer to it and see if we can find something of value for trifectas but probably more of the obvious here with Youngstar in the Oaks. Wouldn't be surprised if another dollar runs second again and you've got some you've got horses like Aloisia coming up to add a little bit of depth to the race but at this stage from what I've seen I'm happy to stick with uh, Youngstar and I think uh, like I said another dollar's certainly racing well and drawn extremely well here and um, can be in the finish as well. Yeah, no, I'm with you, mate. We'll, uh, there's probably plenty of other races where there'll be some value around. I don't think it's an easy day, but, yeah, we'll run the eye over the rest of the card and, and leading in uh, to the weekend, Thursday, Friday, keep an eye out and we will have our best bets and uh, some more early plays for everyone. Hopefully, a few winners. We certainly will. All right, mate. Well, good talking to you. We better get back to work and uh, keep digging through that form guide and finding some winners. Cheers, mate. Talk soon.